down Lake Monroe this weekend. Took a nice hike this morning. Got a right by the bathrooms here. First bathroom you come through after the main guard shack. We're right after it. The site's got a little slope to it. And we were able to get uh, our camper on it. We're on site 68. They're marked on the post down here. There's Peanut from Muzzy Loader Camp. Got a new playground here at Lake Monroe, Pain Town. Had a good weekend. Probably walk to the next playground and get a picture of it. Get with you then. Uh, this is all primitive here. Fish cleaning station all the way in the back. You don't want to end up camping by it. It can smell sometimes. See other playground here. It's outside the camp area, so day used to. Got a restroom, a little shelter. I'm gonna go over here and check out the other part. I wanna pick a side I like to bring my camper down here and do a little primitive camping once get back with you in a little bit always keep the campground clean campground kind of goes over the edge down there We've got real nice shower houses over here And we'll walk around here and see where we can find a site. Okay, we got the wooden fishing pier. Uh, spring, bluegill like to hide right in there. Other than that, I don't have much luck. Down here, you gotta give the right of way to boats when they come in to dump their tanks or stuff, but there's always crappie and bluegill hanging around here. Good place to fish. The restroom on down there, day use area there, lake all around you. I kayaked out through there yesterday. Got a beach here. All the other boat docks down here you can fish off of November 1st to May 1st. Uh, come down here in the winter a lot and camp. Okay, get back to you a little bit. This is a nature center. It's closed right now. They have a big problem with water this spring. It got high. Uh, a lot of times a little amphitheater here, they do uh, 
things for the kids. I mean, some of it's interesting for adults about wildlife. <sighs> they're always, they're pretty good down here about doing stuff with the kids, especially through the summer. Interns come in and do uh, all kinds of arts and crafts stuff. My grandkids pretty much grew up down here. I don't know if they still offer. You used to be able to get a DNR patch. We did like four or five activities. I have a huge boat rental down here. Uh, I mean, the price is what it's priced, but if you go where a state park runs the boat rental, they usually just have kayaks, canoes, but it's cheaper, but here it's an outside company. So a little more expensive than most state parks, but it is what it is. Most state parks don't have pontoons. Uh, there's a light here too. There's a light on that one cement dock down there. Good fishing at night. You can come down here and catch quite a bit of crappie too. And over here, you can't get on any of the docks and fish. Yeah. Get back up there to the camp store. I'll get back with you. Uh, camp store. You pretty well got everything you might need that you might forget. Firewood, ice, dump station. She's turning the back up a little bit. Back to the guard shack at the campground. Uh, last two pictures was a basketball court down there and shelter and the numbers on there said you had to reserve it 48 hours in advance. But good place. A little busy this weekend. It's the weekend after Memorial Day. And uh, we come down to couple times during the winter uh, we just have a box up here to put money in camping's a little bit cheaper electrics on all year round close all the bathrooms up but got a camper so I survive that's pretty much the realm of it or I'm already hooked up and ready to go my brother-in-law is finishing his up when I left so We'll call this the end of the video and we'll, uh, get back with you on the next one. Yes, there is the old red Dodge. <clears throat> what we're staying in now, I'm going to go with about a 20 footer. Bed and shower. Got a queen size bed up here, couch, big slide out. Actually, I have two full size bunk beds. Bathroom, point to self. If you're going to use a shower, make sure you get a tub shower. Well, we're going to call that it. Pretty little view out the camper. We'll get back with you guys later.